Hey guys, this tutorial will show you how to turn the values from this Excel worksheet into these animated liquid charts using the Python library PyCharts. PyCharts will render the liquid charts in an HTML file. So if you want to spice up your next presentation or if you are tired with the standard Excel charts, this tutorial might be interesting for you. Ok and without further ado, let us get started. I assume that you have already Python installed on your machine. If not, feel free to check out my quick tutorial on how to install Python. As the first step, we will install the PyCharts library. Shoot up your command prompt or terminal. You can install the library by typing pip install PyCharts. Next, we will also need a way to get the values from Excel. For this tutorial I will be using the pandas library. If you do not have pandas installed yet, you can install it by typing pip install pandas. Once we've gotten that out of the way, let us get our feed wet with a simple example. Therefore, I have prepared an empty Python file. First things first, I will import the PyCharts library. In particular, I will be importing liquid from PyCharts.charts and the PyChart options as OPTS. As the next step, I will create the chart and name it Customer Satisfaction. You can, of course, call it whatever you want. In there, I will initialize the liquid chart we have imported. Then I'm using add, which is the primary method to add data to the chart. The first argument inside the add method is the series name. Feel free to pick any name. The series name will be used as a reference name if you want to configure your chart further. Next, we can provide a value for the liquid chart. For instance, 0.95, which will be displayed as 95%. Optionally, we could also give our chart a title. Now, this line of code looks a little complex just for setting up a title, but this is the way they did it in the documentation. Later in the tutorial, we will also come back to this line to adjust the title position. But for now, I will leave it as it is and export our liquid chart to HTML by using the render method. For the output name, I will choose basicexample.html. After saving the script, let me switch back to my command prompt and run it. First, I will navigate to the folder of my Python file and then I will run basicexample.py. Ok, and here is our first liquid chart. Yet our chart and the corresponding title are not aligned. And therefore, I will adjust the position of the chart. We can do this inside the add method by using the argument center. Center takes a list with two arguments. The first one is the horizontal position and the second one is the vertical position. By default, both values are set to 50%. To move our chart more to the left, I will put the horizontal position to 15%. And to move it slightly up, I will set the vertical position to 35%. Frankly speaking, I tested different positions until I came up with 15% and 35%. Let me save and rerun the script. Ok, and after refreshing our page, this looks much better now. Yet, I might want to move the title slightly more to the right. We could adjust this in the title options. I will push the title 5% away from the left side of the container. Once again, I will save the script and rerun it. After refreshing the page, we could see that the title has been pushed a little bit more to the right. So far, so good, but instead of hard coding the values into our script, I think it would be a good idea to get those values directly from Excel. Therefore, I have prepared the following workbook. Inside the KPI worksheet, I have inputted the percentages for the customer satisfaction, sales target and market share. To get those values in our Python script, I will be using the pandas library. Go ahead and import pandas SPD. As a next step, I will define the file path to the Excel file. In my case, the Excel file is in the same directory as my script. If your Excel file is not in the same directory, you would need to specify the exact path to the file. Next, I will read the values from that Excel file, particularly from the worksheet KPI, by using the PD read Excel method. This line of code will create a pandas data frame for us. From that data frame, I would like to get the first row from the customer satisfaction column. To get the first row, I will be using the ilog method. Please note, pandas uses zero-based indexing, meaning the first row is at index position zero. Next. I will grab this customer satisfaction value and replace the hard coded number. And that's it. After rerunning the script, we should see now our updated value. 
instead of 95% it shows 40%. If we want we could also include several of those liquid charts on one page. For this I will also import grid. As shown at the beginning of the tutorial, pie charts also offers different shapes for the liquid charts. To get access to the other shapes, I will be also importing symbol type from piecharts.global. In the final script, which you can download from the description box, I will also include the documentation and pie charts gallery links. For this example, I will create two more liquid charts. One for the sales target and one for the market share. As before, I will get those values with the help of the pandas library. You want to make sure that the column name is 100% matching the name in your excel file. To create the other two charts, I will copy and paste the first one and change the name, value and title. Additionally, I will set the second chart directly in the center, so 50% to avoid overlapping. Once done, I will do the same with the third chart, which represents the market share. This time I will push it further to the right, so 85%. Now that we have our liquid charts, I will stick them together by using the grid object. Also, grid has the add method. The first argument will be our chart. For the second one, we could also provide further options, which I will not do here. Yet, we cannot leave it blank as this will raise an error. So I will type grid options is equal to grid options. I will do this also for the other two charts. Finally, instead of rendering the customer satisfaction chart, we want to generate our new grid. This time I will call it kpi-dashboard.html. After running the script, we can see our new HTML file. However, there is one issue. I forgot to adjust the title position for each chart. But this will be a quick fix. Back in the script I will shortly adjust the position left argument for the market share and sales target. As we are already here, we could also change the style of the chart. For the sales target I will set the outline to false and change the shape to diamond. And for the market share I will change it to a rectangle. And one more last time, I will run the script and refresh our KPI dashboard. Ok, and here is our short and sweet KPI dashboard. You might have noticed already that the page title is called Awesome Pie Charts. Unfortunately, I did not find a way in the documentation to change this. A quick workaround is to manipulate the HTML code of the chart. Just open the HTML file in your text editor and change the title here. After saving the file, you can see that the title has been changed. You could also edit the HTML source code of the output file directly in the script by using the beautiful soup library. However, for this tutorial I wanted to keep it simple. Ok guys, and that's it for this video. As always, if you have any questions or need further support, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.